high school we weren't even like that close to them and we're like hey do you like it and they're like yeah we like messaged them on instagram literally visited one weekend and just moved and we're like it seems okay it was pretty risky but my husband already like worked from home full time and i had a wedding planning business at the time um so it was really easy to move and we just did it props he literally like told his job like the week before like hey by the way we're gonna move bye and we just moved the week later it was great like i said we're not like known for taking risks and our families like lit all live within like a two block radius so it was really big a big deal but i think doing that i feel a little bit like more at ease about moving anywhere else you know right because like once you've done it yeah you're like okay that wasn't bad. No, she just says, with all your in friends, like, when are you coming back? Um, no, I think they, like, except at first, like, my parents were like, oh, you'll be back. You'll be back. But I think everybody that I know, like, all my friends have left uh, South Florida already. My family's dying to retire and get out of there because it's just gotten out of hand. It's so expensive and so overpopulated and just crazy so i think everybody's just trying to get out to be honest and i just say this just because the last time i went actually was like pretty recently as opposed to like it had been like god like maybe nine years or something since i had been there oh, and it just oh, like, seemed like not nah. well it just seemed like kind of like the magic had gone a little bit yeah yeah i think everybody's like pretty much a lot like the majority of my friends from like high school and that I knew while living there like they pretty much left because millennials can't afford to like buy anything there you can't afford to live there anymore and then I know like a couple people that have homes and they're like they have like apartments in their homes that they're having to rent out like mm. just to afford to live there and I'm like I I'm not I can't do that well, that kind of seg segues into like what I'm obsessed with is like generations. And so mm -hmm. since you drop millennials, I always tell people <laughs> millennials are me and most of my friends, babies born between 1981 and 1996. Mm -hmm. So just curious, any thoughts on our generation or stereotypes you heard? We're the best. And I hate that everybody hates on us. <laughs> but I will say Gen Z is like, they're going to probably save us. I hope <laughs> they're doing way more for us than we are. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hate this whole like hate. There's I, I get that like every generation hates the younger generation, but I feel like millennials and Gen Z are pretty tight. Like we're cool. We get along pretty well. <laughs> now, if you want to talk about a generation, we could talk. I could talk to you for hours about boomers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah any like yeah i'm obsessed with any kind of like general you know generations essentially so like is your what's your two cents on them um the lead in <laughs> has affected them <laughs> but I'm like just oh. sorry mom sorry dad but like you're I mean, like you're insane but i mean that it could be the huge possibility <laughs> i mean and we also have like Pl microplastics is art we're gonna have some sort of thing that we're gonna screw up our kids with i'm sure. sure i already am this like gentle parenting thing we're doing I'm like i'm raising a psychopath i think but he seems uh. okay. <laughs> see what happens do you feel like and again i don't have kids but just i'm try try to be in touch with everything that's going on is there such a thing as like mommy shaming via the internet have you experienced that or heard about oh, that? oh yeah definitely um I will say, though, on, like, a general basis, I feel like at least other moms that I know right now, like, their kids are my kid's age, and we all had babies during COVID, mm -hmm. which was, like, such a shift in our culture in general, where, like, everybody's way more open about how they're feeling. Um, so I have a unique experience when it comes to that. I literally had my son two months into COVID when like we didn't know what it was and they were showing like they were the news was showing people in China like collapsing in the streets still you know do you remember that yes. so 
my experience was just I can't even like I don't even know what the hell I'm doing right now or who I am like it was just so crazy and wild that like I feel like there's not shame between like people that are had kids around myself like we're all very open and honest about how we're feeling and how like crazy we are right now like the first two years of my son's life was spent like trapped inside this mm-hmm. little tiny house you know so right. but I do know there is like a lot of internet mom shaming or there was but I feel like things are better uh, yeah I feel like things are better at least in my experience I don't know it's hard to just anything anything you read I'm like is this on point or maybe is it just certain it, I guess I just view it as almost I mean, like if someone's a mean girl they're going to be like a mean mom to someone on the internet they- that exactly and there are mean i will say oh we could talk juicy gossip for that there are really mean moms <laughs> that i have experienced that not a lot i've actually for the most part everybody's really nice but i have met some like judgy mean moms like i took some like baby class with emmett once um emmett's my son and this like mom she was like fed her kids like these full-blown like all organic meals and all this stuff and we would have like little breaks for lunch and she'd be like oh I would never eat that and she would like judge all the moms what they were feeding their kids and stuff (laughs) it's like the hell um so I've experienced a little bit of that but I think it's a Charlotte thing too like everybody's so nice here for the most part and maybe it's me because I'm not from here, but I feel like everybody's really nice. I've made more friends here than I ever have, like, in my entire yeah. life. I, I think having a child, too, like, helps you make friends again. Like, opens it all up. It's weird. It's kind of like high school. Like, I'm, da- I'm like, dating other moms now, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm excited to meet other moms. I, like, use my son as a crutch <laughs> to meet people. I love that, though. That's how I should be. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I think that's normal. You know, college passes, you go through your 20s, and then it kind of, like, everybody starts getting married, and then it fizzles out for a little bit, and, like, those, like, friendships and going out and all that stuff kind of, like, dies for a bit. Yeah, I had my son, and it's, like, been so awesome. Me, it's I'm, like, getting that sep- second opportunity is like, having social groups again and planning mm-hmm. things. Obviously, it's not as crazy and wild as it was in my 20s, I but... That. A, a single chica over here like that's it's interesting be a single chica girl honestly and i know everybody mo- every mother says like it's the greatest gift in the world i love my kids and it's true i do but it really is so life-changing like I will never wake up past 7 a.m ever again for the rest Mm -hmm. of my life I will never like sleep in everything revolves around him like our schedule where we have to go even like the pre-prep just to like go places and it's it's really really hard it's so hard being a mom (laughs) um but you know it's rewarding they're cute that helps (laughs) <laughs> he's a little devil right now i'm kind of mad at him this morning so, <laughs> he's, so cute. I <laughs> he's so cute he's he's actually very cute he got like an award yesterday at school the kindness award because he was like they give him like little little treats and like he was um one of his friends was like crying at drop off or something and he was like checking in and he was like are you okay do you want to play trucks and was like trying to soothe the other child <laughs> so they like rewarded him with the kindness award yesterday so cute so that that kind of stuff makes up for like all the hell he puts me <laughs> right. sometimes no i understand when well, also too just i i hear two boys are just oh my uh, God. world and no. all i mean they're boys right i and i listen dan and i are like really open-minded and like neutral when it comes to like boy versus girl and all these things and 